Hi, this is Bia from Bia Quilter. I'm going to try and make these uh, YouTube tutorials on EQ. And bear with me while I'm still learning and figuring out different techniques. But anyway, this week I figured out show uh, borders because I seem to struggle with, I don't know, coming up with new borders. Sometimes I just do plain borders or piano keys. Anyway, I guess you can see how I work. Here you have a spider web block. I colored it kind of weird, so it's not your traditional spider web block where usually you would color it in a circle. But anyway, so here you'll see the layout is six inches. By the way, the spider web block is from AccuQuilt. So six inch block, it would mean it's 24 by 30. Then I went in and I added a one inch border and it will show that it's 26 by 32 inches. Let me go into my sketchbook here and I'll show you another border I added onto it. Here I added just a plain piano key border. Um, since the inches were even, I knew that adding two inch wide blocks would work out. It's not lining up with the blocks on the top, but it works. So here you can always mouse over it and click and double check. So I made the border three inches wide and then um, two inch blocks. Here I'll show you. There's the one inch and there are three inches. So here, since it's 26 by 32, Divide that by two, it's 13 blocks on the top and bottom and 16 blocks on the sides. And then I just went in and I randomly colored it scrappy. And to unify it, I did the inner border and the corners in gray, which is the same gray as in here. Now, another one I've worked on is Cross Canoe, also by AccuQuilt. Let me go back here. So here I did the same technique. The layout, the block uh, finishes at nine inches and I have a nine inch cube. So I did it a little different. I divided up that four could fit on the block because then die number eight works like that. It's a quarter width or yeah, width and then half the length. So that would mean that the border is four and a half inches and then this is two and a quarter. So you can see that right here. And then since it's all even numbers, it ends up that opposite corners are blue and the other opposite is white. One thing I like to do is, oh yeah, so here I went in and kind of took the blue and white layout that I had just showed you and I will go in with a spray can and pick a random blue color one block like let's say right here and then I'll color a couple of the blues like four or five and then pick another blue color that block and go around and do one two three four five and so on and fill it up Not, not save it here. One thing I like to do is to figure out the yardage, I'll go in and I'll color all the blue in the middle and then a different blue on the outer border. And then when you print uh, the yardage, it will then show how much you need for the border and together versus if I did the other layout that was all one blue color. I don't know how much I need for the border and how much I need for the middle. Anyway, just a tip. I don't know if it makes any sense. Let me go in here. And we did spider web. We did, let me do, let me do the gray strings. This was a I don't know, I have so much gray scrap, so I figured I'd make gray string box and I went in and I played with the double four patch block and just played with different color options. I actually like that one the best. And then here 
I added a border. So here my blocks are six inches. So I figured if I added a one and a half inch border first, which is the size as the same size as the small four patch, one and a half inch, then I could add three inch blocks here because the math would work out. And here it ends up being 13 by 17. Because right here, if you divide it by three, I guess. Yeah. Well, I did one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, and then really double that is 12. And then adding the one and a half and one and a half would really be another one. So 13. And I do the same down here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if it's three inches, that would be 16 plus the border, that's 17 blocks. So that's what I had here and three inches. And then the outer one is one and a half as well. And then if I color it like this, I think that'll look cute. So I think I'm going to stick with that. And now the finished size is 48 by 60 inches. And by the way, there's um, all these borders are up here on the top too, where you can go in and you can play with all sorts of borders. I don't know. I also I also like to just go in and pick right here. It's the same ones as they are on top. I tend to pick pretty simple. One that I have too is the pineapple. I've been doing these rainbow blocks with different dyes. Yeah, see, look, that's the one I did for AccuCult's website. Anyway. Oh yeah, and I just finished that quilt. So here I have rainbow layout. I did sashing one inch because that's the width of the logs in there and then one inch cornerstones. Now the math on this does not really 36 and 47 doesn't make any sense. So I ended up just smacking a plain blue border on it long horizontal when I do that first and three inches seem mathematically to look good and maybe a dark blue color I don't know it's not the same as this one these rainbows are all scrappy I just don't bother doing that in EQ and then I'll end up being 40 by 51 that's that's an okay size so anyway just my little test video I hope you like it so uh, don't forget to subscribe. Huh.